We're trying to provide everything. Vehicles, surveillance, uh, boats, firearms, equipment. So we want to provide the whole system because the opportunities we have, the professionals that we have, uh, very often they have a very lengthy record of service in special in special forces. So they just uh, well, they can work on the whole system because when you work on the whole system, you can make a special bespoke and just make all the pieces fit together and be very effective. So you can see it's a mine, uh, mine sweeping vehicle. So it would, you know, look for mines and explode um, mines and other we call it engineering vehicles. Okay. So basically, right now Kalashnikov is a leading developer of uh, unmanned uh, fighting vehicles. The left one is called Tourist. It's uh, it's, tourist? it's a tourist. Yes. <laughs> Traditionally, there is always you know little jokes um, used. It's a lot of names are you know made jokingly. For example, uh, there was uh, for example handcuffs which were used to be called tenderness. They were his official name. So uh, this has a traditional um, uh, gas engine, and this is a buggy, a tourist buggy. So um, you see that with the uh, all the combat in Syria. Uh, certain special units realize that they need a very light moving vehicle for recon and reconnaissance. Obviously having a hybrid um, engine allows you to be very, very um, silent and you don't produce you know, a lot of noise. So that's why there are versions with traditional engine, which is bigger, and there is, um, there is a version with a hybrid engine, which is much more silent and you can use it behind enemy lights. This is electric motorcycle. Not many electric motorcycles are produced in our country, and again, there was a certain demand from uh, recon forces who have to go behind enemy lines. They need something very light. For example, for two snipers, two electric motorcycles would be ideal because they produce almost no sound. They can carry enough equipment to sniper rifles, ammunition, and that's really you know the best way sometimes to go somewhere in a remote place uh, behind enemy lines, sometimes set up a position when you need to get out uh, because if you have a large vehicle, a pickup truck or armored personal carrier will be too visible. And with this, uh, with this motorcycle you can uh, drive through very hard terrain actually you know, remain uh, hidden from potential enemy forces. basically have a, you have a base model and then you can modify it for, for a customer and you can see that even if every year sometimes we uh, bring in uh, bring something under the same name but actually there would be certain modifications so you can see this is a riot control vehicle which has Ross Guardia the uh, branch of law enforcement which is responsible for riot control and uh, basically helping the police to keep the order. This is a patrol vehicle. It's you, if you look at it, you know it looks very similar to mine resistant ambush protector MRAP uh, vehicles used in other countries. There is a certain demand for this vehicle, and uh, um, again, you know we're trying. We work with the uh, with our customers very closely. If they have specific requirements, we're going to work with them and make sure that all the requirements are met because there are a lot of different special units that have independent budgets and if they want a specific to have a specific vehicle we can provide a specific vehicle you can see that this one is actually have the signs of russian guards which is one branch of the you know uh, law enforcement and this is more of a military version so that would have some changes uh, that they require and uh, the biggest change is that it's a six by six so it has six wheels instead of four. So this is one of our uh, speedboats BK-16. You can see some of the very impressive demonstrations that we had. Those boats are already used by certain branches of Russian military. You can see it's a, uh, there is a lot of space inside for the potential troops that can be carried. You have uh, machine guns mounted on the sides and uh, that uh, can be very effective for counter-terrorists, for introduction, 
for border forces that need to secure the water borders. And uh, again, this uh, speedboat is constantly modified. And when our company works with special forces, we're used to the fact that they always have new demands, they want to improve the product, they want to mount new weapons and it's very important to work with the customer and uh, you know just uh, it, when you have the same model and not willing to change it that's not the way to successfully work with those units. This is our standard Kalashnikov PK, PKM, uh, 7 sticks 2 by 54 very well known to anyone who served in the Russian military so it's more of a light weapon but in other modifications, we can have grenade launchers, have a 50 cal, we can have a, a small, uh, relatively small caliber cannon. But for, you know, uh, for example, border forces for terrorist introduction, this, uh, this PK is uh, pretty much everything you need. And also, those boats are really, really fast. They can go uh, over 40 knots. Uh, you know, which gives them the opportunity to introduce pretty much any vehicle, any uh, speedboat, any other speedboat. And uh, it's really great to see them in service in certain units. And uh, generally people uh, right there in the field, or in this case, in the, in the sea, they're satisfied with the performance and the armament of this, uh, of this uh, vehicle. The great advantage of this uh, speedboat is that they're actually armor protecting the troops while they're inside the, uh, inside the speedboat, so they don't really have to worry about incoming fire and they can safely land. And uh, again, you know, depending on the client's performance, the armor can be detached and so the speedboat will be even faster.